Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Plays Magic Duels. On the last episode, Raven Man. One of the things I've really enjoyed about the Black Story Arc is that we've played against so many different colors. We've played uh, against black, we've played against uh, green, we've played against white, we've played against uh, a combination of black and blue. Uh, last episode, which is really interesting and oh my god, that top deck though. Um, but this episode, we're taking on the finale. Decades have passed since your first planeswalk. As you age, you find your necromantic powers cannot stave off the specter of death forever. You become obsessed with preserving your life. No price is too great. And you seek a contract with four ancient demons. It seems reasonable to me that we will probably be fighting a red deck, which is thrilling. But also, I always hate to be on the opposite side. Also, once again, the art, so incredible, so ominous. I love the little detail of the the one guy on the left, the one zombie, like, is missing half of his head. So, so creepy. I think this is Obnixilis. Uh, I'm, I'm not always up to date on my magic lore, but I'm pretty sure that that's Obnixilis or, or something like that. Uh, magic people who know more than me, you'll have to let me know if I got that right. Let's get started. Contract from below. Liliana needs to defeat all four demons in succession to earn her demonic contract. As each demon falls, Liliana will gain its power. So I have to fight Grizzlebrand. Okay. So, apparently I have to fight four guys in a row, and then I gain their power? So I don't really know what that means, but this is very weird and very different. Uh, do I have what's necessary to actually... Play this one. Seems hard. I've got three swamps. I've got leech ridden swamp. Uh, it enters the battlefield tapped. Um, you pay a swamp and tap this. Each opponent loses one life. Activate this ability only if you control two or more black permanents. Um, hmm. Okay. Interesting. But that's still cool. I mean, you can tap free mana to, you know, do damage. Uh, I got a Shambling Goblin and an Antuko Husk. And I can sacrifice a creature to destroy a creature. Um, it's not the best hand in the world, I'm gonna be honest. I like that Swamp, though. Uh... It's a playable hand. I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go on my gut feeling on here, on, on this, and, and uh, draw a new hand. Huh, that was both worse and better. Uh, I've got four swamps, which is way too much, but I have a Grave Titan, who is a 6-6 six, six death touch, and when he enters the battlefield or attacks, I get two, uh, two, two black zombie creature tokens. So, at least I have something to build up to? I guess I'll keep, because I, I hate going to six, so let's keep. And I also play second, so I'll get to draw a card, so that's not bad either. And I got something to build into. Typhoid Rats. 1-1 one, one Death Touch. Oh, God. This thing has Death Touch! Yeah, I know. I know how Death Touch works. I'm pretty sure we've talked about Death Touch, but if we haven't, because sometimes I'm forgetful, any amount of damage this deals to a creature is enough to destroy it. So if a 10-10 fights a 1-1 one, one Death Touch, they both die. The 10-10 deals 10 damage to the Typhoid Rats, but the Typhoid Rats deals one death touch damage to the 1010 and it would die and that's bad <laughs> uh this enters the battlefield tapped and i don't have a first play so i'm gonna put this in first this is gonna get real interesting go to the main i can't believe i'm gonna have to fight four guys back to back this is gonna get crazy it's already coming at me for one you might be saying wait if it kill if it hits you with death touch will you Die? No. Creature, not player. It will kill a creature. What is this? Charcoal Diamond. It enters the battlefield tapped. You can add black mana to your mana pool. Okay. Great. It's using some mana acceleration. Which is not exciting. Uh, what we're going to want to do here... We want to block that rat... Um, the black cat would be fine. Um, or the, un or the butcher ghoul. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the black cat is something that I kind of want to die, though, because it, it gets its effect out. 
So I'll put the black cat in, in, uh, hopefully it will attack me. Or not. If it doesn't attack me, fine. Whatever. You do your thing. The mana acceleration is not helping anything, though. It decides not to attack, decides it's not worth it, and plays a 3-2 vampire. Demons, indeed. This is gonna be a very uphill battle. Oh my god, we're getting flooded. We are really getting flooded. Oh god. Um, but I, I... Look towards the prize, Steven. You have a Grave Titan. You don't got anything else, but you have a Grave Titan. Uh, let's skip attack. We're gonna buy some time here. We're gonna- we're gonna block where we can and buy us some time. Choosing not to attack us. It's only got eight life. There's a Shambling Goblin. Shambling Goblin, um, will... go in. And I can't forget about the ability I have here. I don't have anything to play in response, so I will do this. Each opponent loses one life. I control two or more black permanents, so I can activate that ability, so I'll go ahead and do that. So that'll help a little bit. Go to the attack step. Obviously not attacking. I'm trying to just kind of hold off as long as I can here. All right. Swinging for three. How would you like to block? Um... I know how- I know exactly how I'm gonna block. I'm gonna block with this guy, and I'm gonna block with this guy. Uh, because my Undying guy comes back, and my Goblin... Both of them combined will kill that, and then the Goblin could kill the Typhoid Rats off. Confirm blocks, baby. Seems good. Seems good. And we'll give the minus one, minus one to the Typhoid Rats. Goodbye, rats. Okay, took care of that menace. Murder, destroy target creature. Uh, okay? <laughs> you really wanted to murder my cat? All right. Got rid of something scary and I get my uh, tutu back. Uh, can I see what it was that was so scary in that graveyard? Let's see. Typhoid Rats, Murder. A Blood Gift Demon. A Flying 5-4. And at the beginning of your upkeep, target player draws a card and loses one life. Gross. Uh... What? That- what? Okay, hold on. That was creepy. Because there's apparently a problem, but it fits the theme of the battle. Like, we're fighting demons, and all of a sudden, the the screen just went all crazy. That was weird, but actually really neat. It kind of reminded me of, uh, what was that GameCube game that did all the weird stuff? Eternal Darkness Shadows uh, Requiem? Or Etern Darkness Requiem? Something like that? Eternal Darkness. Anyway, that was, that was crazy, but kind of cool. Um... So it's my turn, I'm at the attack step, and I will swing. No blockers. The problem is I can't activate the ability of my land, because I have to have two black permanents to do that. And that kind of sucks. But so far, so good. Um, what you got now? Indulgent Tormentor, a 5-3 Flying Demon. At the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card unless target opponent sacrifices a creature or pays three life. Whoa. So, at the beginning of his turn, he gets to draw a card unless I pay three life or um, sacrifice a creature. Yeah, uh, I think I'll probably let him draw cards. That's my, that's my guess. Oh, oh my god, I can corrupt him. I can corrupt him, and I think I'm gonna corrupt him. Uh, yeah, let's just corrupt you. Bam. Slam bam, thank you, ma'am. Okay. I was curious how this was gonna work, so I got the power from that guy. I gained his health, or whatever, and now I'm fighting... Another demon who is still in control of the same guy. See, I wasn't sure how that was going to work. 
Otherwise, I may have chosen to corrupt that thing. Uh, I do have bone splinters. It's asking me now if I want to attack. And uh, this guy's flying. So... I mean, I can't swing because I can't... I can't hit him. So <laughs> that's kind of pointless. Opponent's turn. Uh, so I have to choose one. Have its controller draw a card, or I can sacrifice a creature or lose three life. I think I will let the demon draw a card, which is very frightening, kind of giving him a lot of power, but I'd rather hold on to my creature, so I will let you draw. He's playing another land. So, the, all of the demons share. This is, so it's actually not really fighting someone who has 20 life, it's fighting someone who has like 30 or 40 or some crazy number. Hits me for five in the air, which is not fun. But, you gotta do what you gotta do. Playing another guy. So he's gonna be drawing two cards a turn, unless I deal with this problem very quickly. And what is this? Another Typhoid Rats. Okay, sure. Um, stay focused, stay frosty. Things are gonna be alright. Maybe. I mean, mostly. Uh, let's get a Swamp in. So... What do I want to do here? I want to get Grave Titan in, for one. Uh, I'm going to get two zombies when he goes in, which is going to be very helpful. He's also Death Touch, which is not, not bad either. Uh, Grave Titan, you should go in. You will give me the strength I need to do all of the things I want to do. So, Grave Titan's in. 6-6, six, six, Death Touch guy. Every time he attacks, like he is chosen as an attacker, I get two more 2-2 two, two zombies. So he's a crazy dude. Um, there's also Titans in every color, in case you're interested. Uh, Bone Splinters is what I'm thinking now. I could use that to sack my 2-2 two, two and kill off one of the 5-3s, which would help a little bit. Uh, I, gotta, I, be, I gotta be careful of the rats, because the rats are Death Touch. Uh, but overall, I'm not... Extremely worried. The thing is, I can't ever choose. I'm gonna need some stuff, man. I need some stuff to deal with this problem. God. I'm actually. Yeah. Yeah, let's take care of this. Let's take care of this nuisance. And uh, let's kill off my. My tutu. That gets rid of that thing. I could have theoretically killed off one of my Tutu Zombies and uh, attacked with the Undying guy. That may have been the better play. I may have misplayed there, but it's alright. Uh, I'm gonna let you draw a card again, I think. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. He has way too much ammo, and it's very frightening. He could start playing really crazy stuff. He's also has no qualms about swinging at me in the air. Because, you know, what am I gonna do? I can't deal with him. I need another card to take him down. So I'm at 15 life. And... Rune Scarred Demon. A 6-6 six, six flyer. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for a card, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. Gross. So he can go get whatever he wants, and I'm sure he'll get something nasty. It's also a 6-6 six, six flyer. Which is bad. My turn. Oh good, now I have a flyer. Uh, not quite the same... Quite the same level as the Carrion Crow, but something. Um, what the heck do I do? Carrion Crow, Shambling Ghoul, I guess they should both go in. Uh, yeah, I can put both of them in and still have enough land to do my little specialty attack thing. That's not bad. So that goes in. This goes in. I can just go in now. Um, and I won't need the mana, so I can do this also. So, at least you're at nine, so that's something. Uh, he can swing at me for... Oh my god, he can swing at me... for 12. Or 11. He can swing at me for 12, but he can hit me with 11, because he's got 11 in the air. Oh, God. Um, man, I don't know what to do. 
I have a flyer now, which is a little helpful, but I need something serious and quick. Another corrupt would be great. I'm gonna have to skip attack. I can't attack with the, the Grave Titan because he'll just block with the rats. And I will die because the rats are also Death Touch. I could attack with the two twos, so it doesn't make any sense. He is a 6-6 six, six blocker now, so I, I have to skip the attack. It doesn't actually make sense to attack him. This is, uh, this is problematic. Uh, once again, you can draw a card. He has got so much ammunition, I keep giving it to him, but I really need my creatures. What's he gonna do? Oh, yeah, it's coming. Yeah, it's coming. And I can't block that. So I am at... I'm at four. What you playing during second main? I know you got creatures. He has another one. I don't know how to get through. I'm screwed. I'm absolutely screwed. Holy crap. He's got another Typhoid Rats. A 1-1 one, one Death Touch. Okay, um... Oh, here's something different. Solus 1. 7-7. Seven, seven. Power and toughness are equal to the number of zombies on the battlefield plus the number of zombies in all graveyards. So... I have a 7-7, seven, seven, but it's not flying. And that's a problem. I'm trying to think if there's any way I can get myself out of this predicament, and I, I don't really think there is. I can put a swamp in, I can do soulless one. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I don't think there's really any way to uh, to prevent this from from screwing me. I can take him down to eight. I go to the attack step, and the most I can do is swing with everything. Yeah. I, I guess I'll swing with everything and just see what happens. All he has to do is not block. I, I, I create two creatures, so I have some blockers, but... Um... I don't know how he's gonna do it. He's blocking! And I'm just kind of at my wit's end, because I, I don't even know what's going to happen at this point. I hit him for two. Um, hit him for two more. Typhoid Rats and me trade, which is really sad, but it happens. Runescar de uh, Demon. Shambling Ghoul. Lots of stuff dies. He still has flyers. And it does its thing. Um, you can draw a card. I have, unfortunately, what is this? Shadowborn Demon. Flying. When Shadowborn Demon enters the battlefield, destroy target non-demon creature at the beginning of your upkeep. If there are fewer than six creature cards in your graveyard, it's like, oh my god. So, yeah. Um, that thing's gone. Child of Night comes in. Yeah, I don't think there's any real way to get through through this at this point. I, uh... I am dead. Unfortunately. Um, this was... bizarrely difficult. He's gonna swing at me for... what is that? 12 and 5? 17? Yeah, I am, uh... There, there's no way that I can, uh, I can survive this. It's been a good run. Uh, I've gotten through almost all three campaigns without losing. Uh, but... This is this is where I uh, I gotta call it. Um, I am I am very dead. That guy came out of nowhere. I may have had a misplay or two here or there, but I think he just more or less had much better cards. I had a, uh, a pretty bad hand starting out, and uh, man, that was unrelenting. Holy crap! Um, that, however, is not going to be the end. Uh, this is this video is over because there's no way for me to get out of this predicament. I'm screwed. However, if you want to watch me uh, try it again and uh, do a winning match, I'm going to attempt this at least again and put it in the description. Uh, so if you go into the description, at the very, very bottom of the description box, I'm going to put a link. That way people don't know what's there if they're watching this so they don't know if I win or lose. Uh, that way it's a mystery. Um, but if you want to watch that rematch battle, 
go to the description, scroll all the way to the bottom, and there's going to be a link at the very bottom of the, of the description box. You can click that, it'll take you to an unlisted video, and I will give this another shot. This is hard. Holy crap, this is hard. And uh, hopefully next time I'll be able to do it, but I guess we'll find out. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time, which is now, if you go watch that video, for more Stephen Plays Magic Duels.